What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about Screen 5 again here today. Screen 5 did indeed confirm the fate of Kirby Reed. It gave us that answer to that overly uh, decade-long question that we've had regarding the fate of Hayden Pantier's character in Screen 5. So if you don't want that answer, then this is time to click off because any and all things random spoilers are going to be throughout this video if you haven't seen Screen 5 yet. So this is your time to click away. But jumping into it. So there is a moment in the film where Richie, who is revealed to be one of the ghost face killers he was watching stab clips on youtube dead meat uh shout out to you and in his recommendations you had this got this image from reddit shout out to the user who posted over on reddit it says interview with woodsboro survivor kirby reed uh, and then right beneath you of course you see ryan johnson on on uh re reinvigorating or reviving stab i think that says so the whole point of this of course is that the top one says interview with woodsboro survivor kirby reed which gives you that answer to whether or not kirby actually lived at the end of screen four now what's interesting about that is this adds a lot more weight to the arguments that people have been making with the fact that if you are re-watching screen four you can hear when Sydney is about to go down into Kirby's basement or whatever she was about to go downstairs in Kirby's house. You can hear what sounds like a door being opened and then closed before Charlie jumps from behind her with the knife to the throat, pulling her away. And then her or then him and Jill end up revealing themselves and going over their whole monologue with with Sydney, revealing what their motive was and why Sydney's being targeted once again. So it adds weight to that, that that indeed very much was i would say kirby coming back into her house from the stab wound and she just sat there and of course they they found her along the way during the events of screen four uh, as for why they didn't talk about her in screen four for anyone who wants to use that argument when they were at the hospital that wasn't really relevant at the time to what jill was saying jill yes did make the assumption that kirby was dead but do we in that moment didn't need to really confirm to her that you know what you that kirby is dead yes the mo most important thing to her at the time if she was a loving cousin would have been sydney so he was right to just focus on sydney in that moment in my opinion uh where does this leave us though in terms of what can they do in the future with kirby reed now that we know that she has been alive for over a decade now the only real thing that would be stopping us from getting to i guess see more of this character bring that uniqueness and that just i would say better randy version that we got from her <laughs> in screen four she was a better randy than randy would be Hayden Pantier not being up to participate in the film. Now, we all have noted that she does get followed on her socials by Matt and Tyler, the director's radio silence. So I think it's interesting to kind of say that they these three are talking to each other. And I think some type of agreement was made where they said, OK, Hayden, we know we can't get you back in the film this time. But at least let us confirm that you're alive and leave the door open. So that way, if you want to return, you know, will have that door open for you or even the case of hayden just simply did not want to be back this time around but they're actively already talking and communicating with her about getting her back in full effect for scream six and onward because there's so many different things that i would like to see from kirby reed now that we know that she's alive and this is just based off of the characters that they've provided us with scream five so we could see her interact with the carpenter sisters tara and sam in some capacity and how i guess we will most likely get to see these characters interact with someone like a kirby would be if we see them at a college setting once again the other thing i want to point out because i'm going to re-watch screen five tonight i think people pointed out that she is one of dewey's missed calls or at least one of his contacts at one point in the movie so that gives us an indication that there's some type of relationship that was going on there i guess briefly between kirby and dewey not romantically of course but just something in terms of just keeping up to date with each other staying in the loop uh, Dewey contacting Kirby the same way he would contact the others maybe why he didn't contact her in this one obvious reasons Hayden wasn't in the movie but it would also be nice to see Kirby get into some conversations with Mindy Meeks Martin Mindy again was the the Randy Kirby like character that we got this time around for screen five so I would love to see Kirby has some interaction with Mindy in like a recreation of a Scream 2 type of scene in Scream 6 in a college setting where maybe Kirby is the professor of a films, films class or maybe she's even a student in that regard and Mindy and Kirby are just going off of each other. It's like a fun little back and forth about sequels, requels, sequel requels or sequels to requels rather. But again, it all will come down to whether or not Hayden Panettiere is even up for 
returning to the role of Kirby in full effect because I know Hayden has been dealing with a lot of things personally and me just being mostly a big fan of Hayden Pantier, I would rather just, you know, her come back in good health, not come back and just want to satisfy us. Don't there's no reason in coming back if you're not happy in doing what you're doing, in my opinion. Uh, but in terms of just Hayden getting to come back in a role that I would say a lot of people love this character and are satisfied that she's alive, it would be nice to see her first big return on the big screen be in the role of Kirby. A character who has basically become so popular with only being in one movie i would say even she the fact that we even have her in discussions the same way they have with randy who was in three movies i well i guess you say four now well i'll, I'll say three <laughs> the same way that he was in so many more movies compared to kirby kirby was only in one but yet she's talked about in the regard as if she had the amount of screen time that randy has over the course of the franchise that's just speaks a lot of volumes to how well written that character was and just how people latched on to that character and you know i was someone coming out of screen four i was like she was still moving and i was always kind of honing in on the fact that they did not just drop this movie on january 14th just randomly i knew there was some type of motive behind that that might have to do with kirby and we got that answer in this movie the other thing of course i believe at the end of the credits for screen five they do indeed thank Hayden Pantier. So I believe there's some type of conversations going on. I know a lot of people like myself included have said we'd love to see Samara Weaving come into the mix, maybe be a relative of Kirby. But overall, it would just be nice to see Hayden back as Kirby and see what she's been up to, learn what she's been going around, having interviews about, maybe learn what her career choice has been. Does she still watch horror movies or has she switched up to maybe liking a little bit more animated films like Judy Hicks? One of the more comedic moments, that line there, that bit of dialogue from Judy in Screen 5. But there you have it. Yes, Hayden Pantier, Kirby Reed's fate was confirmed via Easter egg that you might have overlooked if you did not look on the right side of Richie's computer screen to see his recommended videos. So Kirby Reed is indeed alive. She survived She survived Charlie and her demented friend. That would also be a nice thing to know. How has that relationship being broken with Jill affected her for the last decade or so? But let me know what you guys think about Kirby's fate down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there is any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.